thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. As part of the Drone Age update, the TCM AGS got a pretty big upgrade. Well, actually two upgrades. First, its weight was reduced from 22 tons to 19, since the 22 ton figure was for armor that it doesn't have. Second, it uses the Bradley's engine, which after 1987 was rated at 600 horsepower. Before, it was about 500. Basically, all of this means it is significantly faster. Now, I do have a few more bug reports on it, but you guys asked me to play it now that it was somewhat fixed. Okay, this should be a pretty good match for us, because not only is it a down tier, but this map really lets you abuse tanks with gun depression. Like, we are pretty much keeping pace with wheeled vehicles. We should really uh, watch our ammo consumption, though. Our ready rack is not that large. I couldn't really see him, but we got pretty lucky, so... Well, there's a target. I was just about to say, I don't see anybody. It seems like if you get that spawn, uh, there's really not much you can do. It's kind of hard to see what vehicle you're shooting at with Gen 1 thermals. Oh yeah, the top speed should be higher as well, but that's whatever. I do genuinely think that they probably should have picked this for the AGS program, mostly because it's a lot easier to transport by air, given that the turret's mounted at the back. But we don't really know why the M8 was chosen, so it doesn't really matter. Have I ever mentioned how much I dislike this game mode? I'm sorry, what? Time to use drones to their fullest potential, because yeah, this was a great gameplay addition. But back to the AGS, it was actually my favorite light tank for a while, back before the HSTVL was. And even the HSTVL is not my favorite tank anymore. That is the RDFLT, which is like the production version of the HSTVL. Which I would love to see in-game, but it's probably not going to happen. There is another version of the RDFLT called the CAT LCV, which is like an anti-air variant. It's got the same gun, two crew, and eight stingers, but the proxy would be very nice against drones and stuff like that. A lot of people were actually unhappy that the AGS uh, was receiving a buff, and I agree to an extent. What they really need to do is make the reload 6 seconds, because that's what the striker has. It's the same system. They also really need to model the vertical drive, because I'll show you here in a second, but it doesn't actually have an elevation mechanism. Like you can see right here, this is the vertical drive, quote unquote. It should be this mechanism here. They could probably move it up to 10.0, give it M833, and I think it'd be fine. It would make it a bit more unique than the M8 AGS, because right now they fill more or less the same role. They do need to fix the sight as well. It should have more or less the same stats as the M60A3 sight. I don't know how we didn't uh, substantially damage him. Why are you shooting me? I'm on your team, idiot. But yeah, you get into a position like this and the AGS just becomes incredibly strong. You know, this does remind me a lot of the Scorpion from Halo. Just give it quad tracks and a bigger turret. I'll try to make this quick, because I know people don't like to watch night battles. And I certainly don't like playing them very much. That was very cool. How he just, uh, disappeared. Yep, I'm just gonna spawn in a drone, kill some people, and then leave. Because, uh, apparently that's what Gaijin wants you to do. To make it morally acceptable, I targeted Russian IIVs, so... I didn't intend. Oh. oh no, wait, that was. I thought I like got a collateral there, but no. Nah.
Really? <laughs> it doesn't do anything, but... So yeah, that's what you can expect from the TCM AGS now. It is very potent. Like I said, it could change a bit more, go up in BR, and I think it'd be fine. As always, if you guys have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.